Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, I have six cards here. Um, I added two more since last time. And I'm about to show you guys how to fix that pesky enable disable bug on your Vega Frontiers. This is going to be a fairly high end video when it comes, not high end, high level video when it comes to the basics. I'm assuming you have some form of experience with mining rigs to even be attempting something like this. So I'm going to skip the basics of how to set the miner up. Otherwise, this thing would turn into a documentary really fast. So, the first thing we're going to want to do, just like any other miner, is we're going to unplug every single card. And we're going to leave just one single card plugged in. So I'm about to do that right now. And we're going to run DDU and uninstall all the drivers. And we're going to start from step one. Alright guys, so I've done just that. Everything's unplugged except one card. So I'm going to turn the miner on right now. And I'm going to go upstairs and uninstall the drivers. And I'll show you guys what to do from there. Alright guys, just like I mentioned before, we're going to open our DDU. Make sure you have the latest version. And we are going to uninstall the drivers we are currently running. Alright, so our computer just rebooted. The next thing we're going to want to do is download two different pairs of drivers. We're going to download the blockchain drivers from August 23rd, and we're also going to download the adrenaline drivers from January 4th. I'll put the links down below in the description so you guys don't have to go online and find them. And the first thing we're going to want to do is install the adrenaline drivers, not the blockchain drivers. So we're going to install the adrenaline drivers on one single card. Alright guys, and in this step, we're going to hit custom install. We're going to remove all the other junk we don't really need. So we're going to take the settings off, the HDMI audio drivers off, and the report wizard off. We want solely the display drivers, and we're going to hit install. Alright guys, so we just uninstalled our drivers and installed a fresh installation of the adrenaline drivers now we're gonna plug everything back up we're gonna turn the system back on and we're gonna wait for the system to detect all the cards so I'm gonna do that right now all right so we have all of our cards plugged in once more now we're gonna turn this bad boy on and we are gonna wait for the system to detect all the cards and we'll go from there all right so all the cards are detected we're going to close out of this and the next thing we're going to want to do is press start type run we're going to open the registry editor we're going to type r-e-g-e-d-i-t press enter hit yes and we're going to navigate to this given path right here we're gonna go to computer H key local machine system current control set control class in this particular folder it's fairly easy to do so it's just a bunch of folders you open up it's the first one here and then you open system then you open current control control set and these are all just subfolders within those folders. So just navigate to this folder here. 
And I have an entire other video explaining, um, giving a bit more detail on the registry editor if you guys want to check that out. But I'm not going to go into too much detail now. Alright, so in here, we're going to find all six of our Vega cards. And we're just going to quickly cycle through all of them to make sure they're all being detected properly. So we're going to start off with folder 0000. And we're going to go down to the device description. And we're going to make sure it's reading Radeon Vega Frontier, which it is. And I'm just going to cycle through all of them real quick and make sure they're all being detected properly. Alright, so I've just gone through all of them. They're all being detected properly. We have folder 0, 1, 2, 3. Don't worry about folder 4. This is nothing. Just skip this guy. Folder 5 and 6. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is disable crossfire. But obviously, since we didn't install the AMD settings, we're not going to be able to do so through there. So we're going to disable it through the registry editor. So we're going to go to folder 0, and we're going to find enable crossfire auto link. And we're going to set this number to 0, basically turning it off. And we're also going to disable enable ULPS. And we're going to do that for every single card. Alright, so I've just disabled the Crossfire Auto Link and the ULPS on every single card. Now we're going to restart the system and verify the settings were pri applied properly. Alright, so the computer restarted once again. We're going to do the same thing. Press start, type run. Going to open the registry editor once more. We are going to go to that same path and we are going to double check to make sure everything got applied properly. If crossfire is not disabled, none of this will work. Your system will crash. You're going to have to start all over, so it's very important that these settings are applied properly. So I'm just going to verify make sure everything got applied. As you can see here, it's still set to zero, so that's good for this work properly. And I'm just going to go through all of them real quick to make sure none of them got reversed because every now and then they do reverse for whatever reason. Alright, so I just went through all of them and everything got applied properly. So we're going to close out of this. And we're going to open the device manager. Doing some janky voodoo driver magic here. Until uh, AMD decides to fix this. If they ever fix this. Hopefully they do. Because it's clearly a driver bug. So we're going to open our device manager and we're going to expand the display adapters. We're going to disable all of them except one single card. So we're going to disable everything. Alright, so once you disable everything, just let it sit for like 30 seconds. Believe me. Every now and then, you'll disable something or enable something, and it'll like flicker on and off for a bit. And uh, if you don't let it sit there for long enough, even though it shows like it's working properly, it'll mess up in the future. So just let it sit there for a bit, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I made sure the flickering's done. Everything seems to be good. They're all disabled. We're going to right click the last card enabled and we're going to update the driver software. Then we're going to browse the computer manually and we're going to pick from a list of devices. And in here, we, c we are currently running the 
adrenaline drivers, we're going to apply the frontier over it. So we're going to, come on, we're going to apply this, hit next, and we are going to wait for this to install, and it should install it to every single card if everything works properly and then uh, we'll verify everything got installed properly afterwards alright so it looks like it finished successfully and we're gonna verify real quick so as you can see all the cards got enabled automatically and we're just gonna right click all of them hit properties and we are gonna make sure the driver version is 8.8.2017 uh, which are the blockchain drivers which is awesome that's what we want we're gonna do this for every single card just to make sure they all got applied properly and we don't have one random party pooper that doesn't want to cooperate you guys can see we have the blockchain drivers installed on every single card now we're gonna disable and enable them just like the 64's to get the full 2000 hash rate out of each card and you'll notice the disable and enable function will work unlike previously and then everything from now on it's is basically the same as a 56 or a 64 just keep in mind you will not be able to um, turn your system off if for whatever reason your system crashes or it locks up on you or you have to do a restart you're gonna have to do all of this over again so just keep that in mind it's obviously not perfect it's super janky but it's basically the best we can do until AMD decides to fix the problem but if everything worked properly you shouldn't really have any issues though so I mean it's, it's the best we can do as of now So as you can see, everything got enabled and disabled properly. And we're just going to scan to make sure there's no yellow triangles or anything. Oh, by the way, if you guys have any form of yellow triangles in your like audio down here, it will not work. You're going to have to do everything all the way from step one. I've noticed that um, even though your display adapter works properly, it, the, si the system will not work properly. Alright, so we're going to close out of this. And we are going to apply our overdrive NT settings. Now, I have not been able to really mess around with this a whole lot. Although it does appear like the P0 to P5 states are unlocked. So you don't really need to do the registry mod on the frontiers. Which is awesome because we can't restart the system. So that's just perfect. Um, I've been using th these settings which are very similar to the Vegas 64 settings. And they work perfectly fine. I have not been able to really fully test anything else but they do work um, you guys can copy them if you want uh, in the future I'll mess around with it a bit more obviously these cards are a pain to get up and running and there's no guide to really follow so I kinda had to do this all myself and it took a really long time to do so right now I'm just applying all the profiles to all the cards and we are going to start the miner after that to verify everything worked.
So I'm just going to make sure everything got applied real quick properly. All right, so everything looks good. We're going to close out of this. And we are going to start our miner and see if everything works or not. All right, guys, so third time's the charm. It turns out I didn't have enough memory allocated in the hard drive. So I had to go back into the performance settings and allocate, I think, what was it, 45 gigabytes um, of RAM in order for this to work properly. But as you guys can see, everything's working like an absolute dream. So it is absolutely possible. So there you guys have it, up and running, full speed. Um, they're all working fine. I think the reason this first one is dropping is because I'm remote screen sharing it, so it's just having to process that extra amount of info so it lowers the hash rate a bit. But other than that, they're all running very, very well. And there you have it, guys. As you guys can see we have all of them hashing away. They're all drawing around 11, 25 or so. Awesome, awesome possum. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.